gold dust, and gold flakes. When God first brought gold flakes to us, we thought this has to be glitter from some children. As I said earlier, we receive the little, and God will give us more. Late in 2008, we were having revival in Litchfield, Illinois, and every once in a while there would be a pile of colored dust in one area. We were having some great glory presence, and have to say we were all clueless to what was happening. We would find these piles, and because we thought it was nothing, we would quickly vacuum it up. We were having special meetings one week in the midst of revival, and there started to fall silver flakes all over the foyer. A few of us were disturbed, thinking someone was mocking God by dumping silver. Later, after the meetings, we were discussing the silver among our team of ministry. I was reminded that he said he was going to begin greeting people in the foyer. Then we began to think, could this be God? We began to repent as a group and said, God, if this is you, have your way. After that day, within a short time, the entire building was covered by glory dust. It was amazing. Haggai 2, verses 8 and 9. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. The glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, saith the Lord of hosts. After a while in our meetings, gold dust, multicolored dust, began to manifest on the pulpit while I was preaching. We had piles that everyone began to see, pictures formed in the dust. One pile formed the image of Jesus. It was amazing, and I wish I had a photo for you to see of it. We had another pile that was a perfect picture of an eagle. Remember, I was preaching to a crowd of people, and the piles of glory dust would fall on the pulpit for all to see. Job chapter 28 verses 5 and 6, New King James. As for the earth, from it comes bread, but underneath it is turned up as by fire. The stones are the source of sapphires, and it contains gold dust. In most services, I would get gold upon my head and shoulders. There were a couple of times that people called me Iron Man because of the thick gold that covered my face and forehead. Job chapter 22 Verses 24 and 25. Then shalt thou lay up gold as dust, and the gold of Ophir as the stones of the brooks. Yea, the Almighty shall be thy defense, and thou shalt have plenty of silver. When we had spontaneous worship services, God would cover me with glory dust in front of everyone. It was more amazing than words can say. When I tell these stories, understand that it is God who does it and I give him all the glory. Psalms 45, verse 13. The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is wrought of gold. Psalms 68, verse 13. Though ye have lean among the pots, yet shall ye be as the wings of a dove, covered with silver, and her feathers with yellow gold. Ezekiel, chapter 16, verses 10 through 14. I clothed thee also with broidered work, and shod thee with badger's skin, and I girded thee about with fine linen, and I covered thee with silk, I decked thee also with ornaments, and I put bracelets upon thy hands, and a chain on thy neck, and I put a jewel on thy forehead, and earrings in thine ears, and a beautiful crown upon thine head. Thus wast thou decked with gold and silver, and thy raiment was of fine linen, and silk, and broidered work. Thou didst eat fine flour, and honey, and oil, and thou wast exceedingly beautiful, and thou didst prosper into a kingdom, and thy renown went forth among the heathen for thy beauty, for it was perfect through my comeliness, which I had put upon thee, saith the Lord. The Bible says that the glory can be seen upon us, how about gold dust upon us? It manifests upon God's people when the presence is there. Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 and 2. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, 
and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Exodus chapter 32, verse 29. And it came to pass, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of testimony in Moses' hand, when he came down from the mount, that Moses wist not that the skin of his face shone while he talked with them.